Praise the Lord, Pastor Steve Sterling from the Dallas Revival Center. And uh, praise God, uh, it's just a beautiful January, and we're having a lot of fun here in Dallas, and thanking God for all the blessings that he has bequeathed to us in this season. And I was just uh, concentrating on a few scriptures. Uh, the first one, Philippians 4.19, but my God shall supply. But my God shall supply. See, that's the supply line that we can depend on and count on and can really lean on as being sufficient, efficient, and being absolutely spectacular in every possible scenario and every possible way. My God shall supply. It's a, it's an infinite. It's a, it's a, an aspect of a definiteness. Uh, it's a command. He shall supply all your need. So whatever need you have, whatever circumstance, situation, uh, po probability, possibility, uh, scenario that's playing out, he is providing. He shall supply all your needs according to his riches in glory by Christ Jesus. God's doing it through his son, Jesus Christ. Um, and it's according to the elevation of his son, which is uh, at the riches in the glory, at the right hand of the Father. So, you know, those are pretty opulent, pretty uh, vast, uh, vaulted experiences in God when we're caught up and we're um, brought up to that high possible, probable level of infinite riches and rewards. It's quite astounding, isn't it? It's quite amazing, and it's phenomenal. Um, and he opens up all the windows. You know, Malachi 3.10, bring ye all the tithes into the storehouse that there may be meat in mine house. Prove me now herewith, saith the Lord of hosts. If I will not open to you the windows of heaven. See, open to you. If I will not open to you the windows, the windows, the windows of heaven, the portals, the doors, the gates, the windows, pour you out a blessing that there shall not be room enough to receive it. There shall not be room enough. You don't have enough room for all the blessings that God is bestowing and he's pouring out um, as he's opening up the windows of heaven. He's the Lord of hosts, the Lord of angel armies. He's got uh, angels ascending and descending, working on your particular scenario, working on your particular case, working on your per personal life and your public life and your social life and your economic life in every possible way. Uh, he's making major plays and doing things that are just uh, beyond our comprehension and recognition. Hallelujah. Yeah. And it's his, it's, it's his infinite and his, his divine desire for us to prosper. You've got to know that, that that's really in his uh, matrix of life. Of, of existence. 3 John 1, 2, beloved, I wish above all things. Say, I wish above all things that thou mayest prosper. There it is. And be in health even as your soul prospers. So soul prosperity is there. Uh, he wants you to prosper economically and physically in your health, in your well-being, and in your substance. Hallelujah. Yes, and he, and he wants you to be happy. I mean, that's this is what God is uh, after. Uh, he wants you to be satisfied, happy, content, blessed. He wants you to be really uh, intrigued and fascinated by all the wonderful things that he does and brings and sings so that you can testify and glorify his name and let people know how wonderful, magnificent, and magnanimous he really is. In Psalm 128, 2, for thou shalt eat the labor of thine hands. Happy shalt thou be. Happy, 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 happy shalt thou be, and it shall be well with thee. It shall be well with thee. And as a matter of fact, you'll be like a tree. You know, Psalm 1 3, you'll be like a tree planted by the rivers of water that bringeth forth fruit in his season. His leaf also shall never wither. And whatsoever he doeth, whatsoever he doeth, whatsoever you doeth, whatsoever you are participating in practicing, whatever you are uh, working on, you're going to prosper. Whatsoever he doeth shall prosper. And it's all by grace. 
God's riches at Christ's expense. It has nothing to do. You haven't earned it. It's uh, Jesus earned it all on Calvary, on the cross, yeah, at Golgotha. Well, when he gave up the ghost there, and he said it's finished. He meant he put a title deed in your hands, and he's given you all that partakes, uh, pertains to uh, to wellness, wholeness, health, and and uh, all the sanctions and all the rewards that uh, one can have as he became a curse for us and reversed everything and put everything in the blessing mode on our behalf, Second Corinthians 9, 8. And God is also to make all grace abound towards you so that you always having all sufficiency in all things may abound to every good work. Having all, always having all sufficiency in all things. And that's everything. Make He's able to make all grace, all grace, all the graces of God in every possible phase and every possible aspect of God, easing the tension, easing the pain, easing the trial, easing the trouble, easing the easing the anxiety, easing out the worry. Amen. Yes, amen, because we know that's the reason why he came. That's, that's why he died, to restore us to paradise lost. 2 Corinthians 8, 9, for you know the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, though he was rich, yet for your sakes he became poor, that through his poverty you might become rich. Through his poverty you might become rich rich. Well, there it is, my friends. Stay blessed. Stay anointed. Uh, keep your uh, receiving set open and let God continue to send the avalanches and avalanches of his goodness, his blessings, his bounty, his booty, everything that pertains to the life of heaven. God bless you and God's best. Bye-bye for now.